Hello again, YouTube. It's Ryan. I'm back again for my second video here. I figured I'd do a quick review of the Easy Movie, Easy Move snowmobile cart um, that I just got for my new sled. Uh, helped me roll it in and out of the garage, put it on the trailer, um, and I also end up having my brothers and nephews snowmobiles in and out of my garage all season long, trading off for whoever's going riding in and out of the trailer or for repairs. <laughs> um, usually we try to avoid those when possible, but you know, it happens. So anyway, this is uh, this is the Easy Move snowmobile cart right here. It's standing up right now. It uh, came in this box right here. Very easy to unpack and put together. Uh, I loved that about it. I love that it's it's, can be very small and compact. The handle just pulls right out. You know, I can lean that part right up against the wall. It's a little bit heavy, but kind of needs to be to lift the sled. Um, handle breaks down into two pieces with a quick, uh, let me put it back in here, but breaks down. So you can actually put this, uh, let me back up a little bit. You can put the, the handle in both sides whichever side of the cart or the sled you want to pick it up by, it just slides in. I was kind of surprised to find that there's no pin for that, but it seems to work all right. So I won't complain about it because if it works, it works. The, uh, the handle, sorry, I'm doing this on my phone, has a quick pin, quick release pin. You can just pull that out, break the handle down into two pieces, easy storage. The upper, sorry, I'm doing all this one-handed. Uh, I don't have a great camera set up just yet, but um, you know, that just clips back on. The upper part of the handle here, this part slides up and down to accommodate shorter or longer track sleds. It does have a stopper screw up there. It's just a quick set screw in there. Um, so if you did want to take it off for storage, you just need a quick screwdriver. The strap hooks onto the the rear bumper to lift. I'll show you how it works in just a moment. Um, so the whole thing just tips up. Smaller wheels, but they're great on hard surfaces. We'll come around to this side. They are like a rubber material, so you know they're not. They're not marking the floor or anything, they're just, and they roll easily. Um, this is the part that goes underneath the sled. It's a little stiff, but it's on a hinge. Um, and when, when it's under there, it, it seems to, to swivel just fine. So I guess it's better that it's not flopping around. Uh, the cross piece is, it's like an indoor outdoor carpet type material on there not going to damage the sleds at all so far i really like it the, the pins down here there's one on each side and those you can you can pop it out and i don't know if you can see it but there's a a couple different holes so you can adjust the the height if you've got a taller sled or a shorter sled or i guess how far off the ground you want to pick it up um they make a pneumatic wheel set um, that you can put in the, the ends once you put it onto the sled. If you have rough surfaces, I don't have rough surfaces. I've got a paved driveway and a concrete garage. So I didn't, didn't opt for them. Um, this, I find this dolly to be a lot more compact than some of the big, you know, arch ones. I don't know if they have a specific, specific name, but my brother has one of those. They work well, but they're bulky. They take up a lot of space. So this one, basically you can just wheel it over to the sled. And this is a 2017 Skidoo 850 Renegade X that I'm going to demonstrate on. Um, so once you get it over to the, the snowmobile, the hardest part I find is getting it underneath the sled. That's the only part that I, I don't really like how it works. The, the wheels are not on a pivot. Um, 
I think that would be what would make it a little bit better um, if the wheels pivoted. So once you get it over to the side of your sled, then you just kind of have to push it underneath sideways so the wheels are not rolling at this point. You, know. so you just you get it under there. Then what they say is you just you back it up until the crossbar bumps the track. Once it does, I like to make sure I'm evenly distributed just from side to side. Then you can see it's it's just kind of resting under there right now. Pardon the messy garage. And then pull down. This is the strap that I was talking about. Just goes through the back bumper, clips onto the ring, and rests there. Just like that. And like I said, this piece right here slides up and down for shorter or longer tracks. Now the cross piece is right here underneath the bulkhead of the sled. It's tipped up. Skis are actually off the ground. The back of the track is touching, but to move it from here, you can basically just lift up on that back bumper. It's almost at a balancing point. Not quite balanced, but pretty close where I can move it with one hand around the garage. And it rolls so nice and easily. So I can turn it around. I could roll it out to the trailer or anywhere I need to get it. I probably should experiment with it on the next setting down to see if it balances a little bit. But basically being able, you can also lift from the, from the bar there. And a 485 pound sled is now easy to move, which if you've ever moved a sled on a hard surface by hand, you know that that's not fun. I really recommend this product because it's relatively inexpensive. I think with shipping, it was around $200. Uh, I know some of the bigger dollies can be more than that. For the $200 it costs me to get this, it'll get a lot of use. And I believe it's gonna be rugged enough to, to last a very long time. Um, even with you know some abuse, I think it'll, it'll hold up. Uh, so that's it, the Easy Move snowmobile cart, uh, Dolly. It's, it's a good investment so far. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And so far, this is the only sled I've tried it on, but my family has a lot of skidoos and I think it'll work equally as well on some of the older models. Uh, the, the revs, the rev XPs and um, the XSs, I don't think it'll have any issues with those. Uh, and my brother actually has a, a Polaris Rush Pro R. I've yet to try it on that. I think it'll work just fine. His dolly on that one is a little weird, uh, just finding the right balancing point for it. But I think this will work out actually a little bit better than one of the big one of the big archway dollies. Uh, again, if you have any questions or have any comments, suggestions, um, post them in the comments below and I'll try to respond to you. Thanks for watching.